Okay, imagine this, you're making toast, and suddenly a flying bike zips past your window. Not a drone, not a dream, an actual person in the sky. Welcome to the wild world of future, where flying cars aren't just coming, they're already here. And no, you don't need to be Iron Man or Elon Musk to ride one. Today I'm walking you through seven personal flying cars that are real, insane, and might just replace your daily commute. Let's jump in. This one's gonna be crazy. Number 1. Volanot Airbike, the jet bike that came out of nowhere. This thing doesn't just look unreal, it feels like something out of a video game that accidentally got made in real life. No windows, no metal frame, no spinning blades to duck under. Just you, wind in your face, leaning forward on what looks like a space-age motorcycle. Except, it's flying. This open-air beast was secretly built by Tomasz Patan. You know, the Jetson 1 guy. But he didn't tease it, announce it, or hype it up. One day, it just existed. He unveiled it by flying through a forest like it was no big deal. It runs on jet propulsion, not rotors, which is why it glides silently and smoothly. The body, featherlight thanks to carbon fiber and 3D printing, it's so compact it can weave through places you'd normally hike, and the kicker, it can hover in place mid-air, because it's got a built-in flight computer doing the heavy lifting. Max speed? 200 km za hodinu. It's not just a ride, it's a flex. Tomasz hasn't said if you can buy one yet, but when he does, expect people to fight over it. Number 2. Jetson 1, the iPhone of flying cars. Jetson 1 is like the cool cousin who shows up to the party and steals all the attention. It's tiny, electric, and so easy to control that you could probably teach your dad to fly it in 10 minutes. You sit in it like a gamer in a racing seat, grab the joystick, and the 8 electric motors do the rest. You get about 20 minutes of flight and a top speed of 102 kilometers per hour. Not bad for something that looks like a drone and feels like a roller coaster. Safety? Through the roof. There's a full crash cage, backup systems, auto landing, and yes, even a parachute. The craziest part? No pilot license required in the US. Just show up, strap in, and take off. Legally. The price? Around $98,000. Honestly, that's less than a Tesla Plaid, and way more fun. It's selling fast too, so if you've ever wanted your own flying car, this is probably your best shot. Number 3. Alto Volo Sigma. Your driveway just became a runway. If James Bond designed a flying car, this would be it. The Sigma is sleek, scary fast, and can literally take off from your driveway, your rooftop, or even your yacht. No runway needed. It uses tilting jet engines powered by a hybrid system. Batteries for lift, fuel for distance. We're talking 290 miles per hour top speed and over 500 miles of range. That's not just a hop across town. That's city to city, coast to coast action. It's quiet too, thanks to its design. You could take off from a neighborhood without sounding like a war zone. Inside, it's all comfort and space. Room for your luggage, your friends, or your secret agent gear. Triple redundant flight controls and an emergency parachute make sure you're covered if anything goes sideways. Expected to hit the skies officially in 2025, and when it does, get ready to see people flexing hard. Number 4. Klein Vision Air Car Transformer in Real Life This one's just plain magic. You drive it on the highway like a normal car. Then, when you're ready to fly, you stop at a strip of grass, press a button, and boom! The wings unfold, the tail extends, the steering wheel morphs into flight controls, and in 90 seconds, you're airborne. No need for a hangar, special fuel, or tech skills. Just gas up like you would a regular car and take off. Powered by a 3.2-liter V6 engine, it can hit 155 miles per hour in the air and 124 miles per hour on the road. And it doesn't even look goofy. It looks slick. It's like if Ferrari and Boeing had a baby. The current model seats two, but future versions are aiming for three or four people. Pricing? Anywhere between $800,000 to $1.2 million, depending on the model. It's luxury, it's performance, and it turns your driveway into an airport. Number 5. Lift Aircraft Hexa. The UFO you can actually fly. 
If you've ever looked at a drone and thought, what if I could ride that? This is it. Hexa looks like a UFO, but instead of aliens, it's got a human inside with a joystick and a massive grin. It's got 18 propellers. Yes, 18. That means even if six of them give up mid-flight, you're still floating safely. Add a built-in parachute and water landings. Yeah, it floats too. It's made from full carbon fiber and weighs just under 200 kilograms. Flight time is around 15 minutes, but you can stretch that with smart flying. You don't need a license, just a one to two hour VR training session. You can rent a flight for about $250 or if you've got the cash, buy one outright for around $495,000. It's more than a thrill ride, it's a sneak peek at what everyday flying could feel like soon. Number 6. Ace VTOL Trinity – The Sky Limo with a Mini Bar Okay, this one's not for solo flyers, this is the Rolls-Royce of the sky. The Ace VTOL Trinity can seat up to 7 people and still hit 220 miles per hour. It's not just fast, it's smart. Some versions even claim an 8 second recharge, that's faster than your phone powers up. Inside, it's pure luxury panoramic windows, a refrigerated minibar, and even AR entertainment. Underneath, you've got arc reaction engines and multiple motors per prop, plus a hydrogen model on the way for longer trips. It's built for everything from executive travel to emergency response. And yeah, it kind of makes helicopters look old school. Not available just yet, but it's deep in development and should be flying soon. Number 7. Leo Flight – The Supercar That Flies Last but definitely not least, Leo Coupe. This thing looks like a flying Batmobile. It's loaded with 64 ducted electric fans that lift you up and six more that push you forward. It can hit 250 miles per hour and fly for over an hour. And it's smart about safety. Airbags, a parachute, and support for water landings. There's a solo version too. Smaller, single seat, no license required. That one's dropping in late 2025 for under $100,000. Whether you're trying to avoid traffic or just want to feel like Tony Stark, Leo's got you covered. They're also working on Verti stops, tiny landing pads you can put on your rooftop or backyard. Flying from home? Yes, please. All right, so what do we even call this? The Jet Age 2.0? Sky commuting? Whatever it is, it's real, it's wild, and it's happening right now. These aren't just concept drawings, these are machines people are flying, testing, and in some cases, buying. Which one would you take for a spin? Let me know in the comments, especially if you've got your eye on the flying limo or the jet bike. And hey, if you saw one fly over your house tomorrow, would you freak out or chase it with your phone? Hit that like button, subscribe Technology XAI, and I'll see you next time probably hovering a few feet above ground.